All right, budget magic time. Playing some, oh my god, where's all of our ramp in modern? Yeah, we can't keep that. We just, all right, well, I guess we do keep this, but we complain about it. Double goggles is not ideal. We definitely will keep this land. So, I mean, this could work. We technically have three mana. We have goggles to work towards. And it's really going to depend on what our opponent's playing. Our hand is definitely way better against creature-based decks than against, I don't even know, spell combo e decks. Well, and Swept Teeth for our opponent. Cracks it. Well, that's a good sign. When Swept Teeth usually does not mean storm. And we get to bolt the birds. Also a good sign. So, bolt the birds. Play the mountain. Pass the turn. Stomping grounds for our opponent. Untap down to 17. And devoted druid. Well, now we get to roast the druid. It's like an updated version of both the birds. Play the mountain. So we need more ramp, and then we're going to need payoffs eventually. Oh, boy. All right, there's more ramp. Hmm. We risk dying if we let this live. But anger is so much better when we're killing more. They could collected company, hit vizier, and then we just lose. Yeah, I don't feel good about this, but I think we just got to anger away Devoted Druid. It's too risky to let a Devoted Druid untap. It's too easy to just die. So, not getting full value, but... Okay, sure. Alright, they don't want it to get exiled, which I guess makes sense. Noble Hierarch. Opponent passes. Well, let's Border Post play a land. We get down goggles next turn, which means if we draw a world fire, we should be in okay shape. Opponent finds a land, which could mean collected company. It's a dusk watch. And gets in for one. Well, come on, deck. Come on, payoffs. We need a payoff. There's a world fire. All right. So play goggles. And now I think we're in okay ish shape. Opponent plays a land. Something else to die to world fire. Gets in with dusk watch for three. Yep. And cracks. Godless Shrine. Oh no, not Thought Seize. Alright, tapped. Play another creature. But don't kill goggles. Alright, Renegade Rallier. Gets back to Voted Druid. Well, this is going to be a very good world fire. Opponent passes. And yeah, I think we're just going to double up this world fire. <laughs> oh, it's so sweet. Yeah, we'll we'll do it twice. We don't even need to do it twice, but might as well. There goes your board. There goes your lands. We still have three mana left over. So we lose three lands. Our opponent loses four lands and four creatures. And they scoop it up. World fire. Too good. <laughs> uh, all right. Bring in roves. <laughs> or pyroclasm, rather. Oh, man, I love this. This is so good. Bring in the pyroclasms. Go down the roasts, go up the blasphemous axe, go down one chalice, and <laughs> maybe one, uh, one what? I guess we'll go down one tormenting voice. Try it like that. Man, I love world fire. Aye. This hand would be great if we had mana. All right, this is fine. And we'll keep the land. Destructive force is a ways off, but we have a pyroclasm for the meantime. There's the birds. Hopefully we can get a nice little two for one, at least, with this pyroclasm next turn. So let's border post past the turn. Windswept teeth. Cracks it. Eh, this might just be renegade rally or get back the land. I guess that's decent. It's a kitchen finx. Alright, that's resilient. We'll play a land, and we're just going to Guardian Idol. Since the Finx doesn't die forever, we're going to be greedy and try to get a little more value from our Pyroclasm this turn. Finx gets in for three. Yep. Selfless Spirit. Ugh. And a Township. Yikes. And a Duskwatch. Well, let's Border Post. Replay the Mountain. Pyroclasm. Unfortunately, all this gets is a selfless spirit. Yeah, maybe we should have fired off that pyroclasm earlier. So now we're at goggles into wildfire, but is that going to be enough? And does our opponent have artifact destruction? 
Also key. Opponent gets in for five. Yup. Down to twelve. There's a pride mage. Yikes. There's a land. Yeah, this draw. Opponent passes. Well, play goggles. Pass the turn. I think we're going to be too slow. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Activates Duskwatch. I'm expecting our opponent kills our goggles. Yeah, now we're. Now we're certainly dead. Well, I guess anger. We could draw actual anger of the gods off the top. I think that's our only out, though. Because world fire is not going to get it done now. Yep. Down to five. Actually, double world fire still would. But I assume they just kill goggles. Another Finx. Godless Shrine. Tapped. Yep. So now it's anger or bust. Not an anger. The Kitchen Finks survive a world fire, and that's game. Whoo! Well, opponent drew the sideboard card. We get to play first, though. And I think we're just going to stick with this setup. Yeah, run it back. We get to play first. Let's get a just nice hand for once. Another mulligan. Oh, Dak. Oh! <sighs> Well, that's game. Game over already. Sure, we'll keep this. Sure, we'll keep this. It's game, though. All right, let's border post. Oh, that's sad. That's super sad. Pass the turn. Ye old no mana hands. Classic, classic, classic. Play the mountain. Play the mind stone. I mean, I guess that there's some world where our opponent doesn't have artifact destruction and we just ramp into a world fire, but it seems super unlikely to me. We needed more cards than this. Opponent has a forest and devoted druid. Also possible they just combo off while we are doing nothing. So border post, pick up a land, play a land. You can see the problem with the mulligans. We mulligan to five and we just... We don't have any of our million pieces of interaction, so we might just get turn three right here, since we don't. And we do. Opponent's got it. Opponent's got it. We are, well, I mean, yeah, it can't be variants, unfortunately. And this is the variants. We have a nearly infinite number of spells that can kill Devoted Druid by the time this would have happened. But wasn't meant to be. I guess we're just hoping our opponent doesn't have a payoff and then we draw into something, but we'll see. That still requires us drawing into something. All right, well, it looks like we live. Destructive Force is not something, which means we have to cash in our Mind Stone, which is really bad. Well, that is a Pyroclasm. So we go back to living. Play the Mountain. Holy. All right, well... Oh, man, that's still not good for us. Because now we need to draw land to play Goggles, and now we need to draw something else to play Destructive Force. Oh, does our opponent just have the combo again? Opponent passes. Oh, man. Oh, Dak, this Mold of Five. Well, oh, goodness. We're fighting hard for how bad this our hand was. So I'll give our deck that. But things have just went the wrong way, unfortunately. Noble Hierarch. Now I guess we need to draw, like, another Pyroclasm or Anger of the Gods. Opponent, their draw has been insanely good. Ah, uh, this Mulligan just doing us in. Opponent passes. Oh, play Goggles. So we did get the Goggles down, but it's a turn too late and our opponent has Pride Mage. Which will certainly be destroying our Goggles. Which means... We just need to top deck a untapped land, a mountain, to be able to cast our wildfire. If we do that, we're back in the driver's seat, potentially. Yeah, there's Township. So we're taking six. Well, it's all about drawing this land. That is the one and only thing that matters. If we draw land, I think we probably win. If we don't draw land... We lose next turn, I believe. Maybe we get one more turn to draw land. I would be shocked if our opponent didn't kill our goggles. Yep, here it comes. Well, come on, deck. Be good to us just one single time. One time. 
There goes Goggles. Just give us a land one stack. If you ever want to be good to us, let us win on this mold of five. And we actually can't even Blasphemous Act here. We're a mana short, so we got to pass. <sighs> so now I guess our opponent playing another creature is... Uh-oh. Untapped red mana? Oh, all right. Well, our opponent actually just kind of saved us, potentially. Or at least bought us some time. Because that one additional creature is going to turn on Blasphemous Act. So we take six... Best case, we still get to Wildfire. Worst case, we Blasphemous Act and then hope to draw lands from there. We might just Blasphemous Act either way. So we're down to six. Opponent passes. There's a land. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five. So we put our opponent to two lands. I think that we're still just going to Blasphemous Act. Because it would be pretty easy for our uh, opponent to just play a creature and win from there. Opponents passing. Well, we're going to pass. Hopefully they didn't draw a collected company. All right, not yet. Another township. Opponent passes. Come on, Chandra. Chandra is what we really want. Or goggles. All right, pass the turn. Our opponent, now they drew it. Oh, opponent. Oh. Well, there's the game. Yikes. Come on, whiff. Well, I have to say, for being on approximately 8% to win on the Mold of Five, our deck put up a pretty good fight. We gave it the whole college try. Opponent, Eternal Witness. Yeah, Eternal Witness seals the deal here. Gets back Collected Company. Because it means our opponent can float mana and then get around our Wildfire. And they top deck Selfo Spirit. Well... And we mold to five. This is the saddest. Oh, deck. All right. And that does it. Well, boys and girls, that's why you don't mold to five. Lesson learned. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, take a second and click that like button down below. It's a great way to help support the channel for free. And you can find the next video in the playlist right here.